The next part, I'm going to go over to our Live at Bats. Um, Jacob Odell uh, also threw one of our Live at Bats December 30th. Really good game here. This portion of the Trackman unit is very, very special because this is their latest drop, right? So last pitch he threw was 95 miles an hour. You can see this display a little bit different than the pitching side, but we still get information. We still get our spin rate. We still get our velo. We still have our strike zone comparison here. We still get our movement in inches. But also on the right side, you can see that we have a hitter in here too. So we can see on a 2-2 count, that was a fastball that went through. We can slide over and we can look at the same dynamics. There's a lot more information that goes into this. We do get a 3D model of the pitch as well. And then we also get the video. So same thing. Look how fast this is. This is unreal, right? This is a video from over a month ago of a heater that he just blew by the hitter. And what's cool is we use two different cameras. So our two different cameras are saved together and we were actually able to go back and watch it. So same thing. I can slow this down. I can look at his, what he's doing in his pitch from the front angle. I can look exactly what the hitter's doing. I can come over here on this side and watch it too. Now, I can scroll through all this information too, and we can start seeing what's happening with the batter. So we had some balls put in place. So let's see if we can find some of those here. Okay, so here's a rope by one of our lefties in this situation right here. Same video, we get the information, ball smacked, right? And here's our cool little video here. So we have a curveball that's located on the outer half, and our hitter is actually able to smack it. And you can see it in this 3D model. I'm going to change it to catcher view. It's going to give you a nice representation of where the ball went. So look, we had a one hopper at the second baseman, right? This is so cool because now in our cage, we get to play baseball in a faster, more efficient way. This is tremendous for training. I can't, I can't stress this enough. Live at bats are the best way to train and test your skills for what you've been working. We see a lot of the times in the baseball industry, we see a lot of people training and then going in high leverage situations with, without enough experience in the practice play space. You have to be able to just get on the mound and play and try to practice getting people out as much as possible. That way, when you get into these leverage playoff situations, it's just a walk in the